Great decision coming here. I'm going to give you all the drawbacks that are not obvious as a for sale by owner. Like the fact that hardly anybody that contacts you are serious buyers. They're either habitual lookers or they're just getting started. To hopefully save you some time, I'm going to explain why almost all for sale by owners end out listing with a broker. As a for sale by owner, you may be in search results, but you're missing the prime time search, the one that really counts and has the best opportunity for you to sell your house. Let's start with the most basic problem you're going to encounter. You're not getting calls from people ready to buy. The proof is in a simple question. Ask anybody that calls you how long have you been looking, and you're going to find that they either just started looking, not ready buyers, or they've been looking forever. They've been looking for six months, a year, two years. They may be looking for something really specific, and your house isn't it. Here's what really happens in the buying cycle. As a for sale by owner, you're getting the casual lookers. These are the people who are getting on the internet, they have it in their mind to buy something, and they're casually searching. They may call you and they may come see your house, but they're not ready to buy yet. They may get something out of it, they're going to get some ideas by looking at your house, they're forming future opinions for when they get serious, but they're not buying your house. And it's the same thing for habitual lookers. Habitual lookers just keep looking. They don't buy. You know how we know this? Because if they were going to buy, they won't be looking for a year or two years. Typically, these just started to look buyers and the habitual lookers, they're entertaining themselves at your expense. Most of them don't even realize they're doing it. By the way, people do this to agents all the time as well. The difference is that the agent would have gone through, hopefully, would have gone through a qualifying process and had more in-depth conversations confirming this is somebody ready to buy. When a looker turns serious, it could still be fun to hunt for a house, but it becomes time consuming. There just aren't enough for sale by owner homes out there to make it worth the effort that a person has to go through to go see houses on their own. To give you an example, I looked at Northport and I looked at Valrico. They're about an hour and a half away from each other. In Northport, at the time that I did this, there were 477 single family homes listed for sale in the MLS. Popular search sites were highly misleading. They showed that there were 85 for sale by owner properties, but when you eliminated all the lots, there were only 15 homes for sale. Out of the 15, six were made up of single lot builders and flippers, and they have a different relationship with the real estate community that you as a seller would have. This is Valrico. There are 14 for sale by owner. Agents are happy to work with builders. They're happy to work with flippers. They're not so happy to work with for sale by owners, so you're not going to get the same traffic. When buyers get get serious and they want to see many houses, it gets tiring calling agent after agent. Smart buyers are going to find an agent that they feel really comfortable with and they're going to work with that agent and they're not spending their time running around to for sale by owners. The second question you want to ask, and this is probably the most important question you want to ask, is whether the person contacting you has gone through the pre-approval process. Do they have a pre-approval letter? And if they do, it tells you two things. One, they're looking to make a decision fairly soon, so they're a legitimate buyer. That letter is probably good for 90 days in that range, and they could update it. I'd also work with somebody that's pre-qualified. Here's a common scenario. Somebody looks at houses, they spend their time, they're looking at this house, that house, and then they contact an agent or a broker and they're ready to get serious about buying and they go through the qualifying process. Only to find out they don't qualify for that price point. Half the people you're bringing through your house wouldn't even qualify even if they wanted to buy your house. I know the ratios to be able to tell a buyer what their buying power is. But what I like to see is a buyer going to the lender or mortgage broker that they're going to get their loan through or from because it shows more of a commitment. You're not trying to sell your house just to entertain other people. And what you're going to find out is that almost everybody that is serious goes through the qualifying process, but they don't do that until they've contacted an agent. Excluding cash buyers, if somebody wants to see your house and they don't have a pre-qualification letter, in all likelihood they're wasting your time. They're either not serious buyers or they haven't gotten to the point where they're ready to buy now. Brings us to the next not so obvious fact that even if you're offering a commission, most agents will never bring a buyer to see your house unless the buyer specifically wants to see it. And it has nothing to do with protesting your listing. It has nothing to do with protecting the industry. It has to do with how you're viewed by most experienced agents. I'm going to tell you the inside scoop on this. Here's the reason most agents won't bring a buyer to you. The most important work an agent does is after the buyer has made a decision on the house they want to buy. There's an offer and an acceptance. You've both come to terms on the price. And here's where the problem comes in. During the due diligence period, which includes inspections and appraisal, issues that you as a seller weren't even aware of are often uncovered and they weren't a concession. But most for sale by owners believe that everybody's playing a game with them over every issue. 
and they tend to be a little more hard-headed about it, stubborn, whatever you want to call it. And after spending a lot of time on the transaction, it is more likely to go south dealing with you than it is dealing with another agent. And now, not just has the deal fallen apart, but your buyer's a little burnt out. And now the buyer may need a two or three month break, and in that time you've lost all the momentum of finding them what they're looking for, and now the agent has to start over, and that's assuming the buyer continues with the same agent. Most of the time the buyer will just simply pick up where you left off, but the risk of a deal falling apart is more likely to happen with a for sale by owner. So highly experienced agents prefer not to deal with for sale by owners. It's just that simple. There is one other time that agents will voluntarily bring their buyers to you, even if the buyer hasn't asked to see your house specifically. So you're the last resort. You are literally the last resort for an agent. Now compare that to prime time. And this is what prime time is. You have buyers that have done some of their casual looking. They've gotten serious. They've now contacted an agent. They're ready to buy. And that's prime time. And you're not even on the radar. As a for sale by owner, you're working with the least likely people to buy. And you're missing the most likely people to buy when they're the most serious. That's when they're working with an agent. If you're still going to try to sell on your own, feel free to give me a call. I can give you some tips on what could at least improve your odds of selling and if you decide that you're going to hire an agent if you want top dollar for the condition of your house you'll typically need more than a simple mls listing you need to be able to market directly to buyers who are looking in your area and you need an agent that knows how to get that done if you need help selecting an agent call me for the referral i'm going to get you better agents to handle your particular needs than you're going to find on these paid to be included sites not every agent is interested in every price category and you may go to the site you may get an agent that has a very good reputation but he may not give you the dedication that you really need that's why you're better with the personalized referral service if you're in southwest florida i could help you as well if you're in the areas that i handle but short of that the referral system you need it targeted better than you're going to get it in one of those sites so make sure you call me